Hello and welcome to another edition of Once Upon a Week. Uh, my name's Chris and this week I learned that Frankenstein is a fairy tale, apparently, according to Once Upon a Time. Uh, to put into context, I've just seen the episode where Will the Doctor is revealed to be Dr. Frankenstein. So, um, it's episode 5 of series 2, um, and the fairy tale world, the, the modern day fairy tale, the present fairy tale world deals with them capturing Hook uh, and trying to work out whether he's a good guy or not, although Emma's got a pretty good idea right away. Um, the swan. Um, the, uh, sometimes, sometimes my mouth just says words. Um, well, that's her name, but no, as far as I'm aware, no one refers to her as the swan. Uh, it's certainly something I've never done, uh, but I might start to now. Um, in the past fairy tale world we deal with the evil queen getting her training from rumples and uh no one calls him rumples either apparently this is the episode where i assign pet names for the characters um uh so yeah the, so queenie's dealing with rumps and trying to um grow uh develop her evil power um and it's a trick is played on her uh by franks and uh and the mad one um, and then in in the modern in the in the non magic world, uh, we deal with the, the evil queen thinking that she's seen Danners um, alive um, and unwell. Um, and there's also a very minor subplot involving Henry getting to know a horse. Um, and you just know that one day Henry's going to ride that horse, and it's going to be glorious. And if they don't do that, I'll be so upset. Like it is so much. Like you'll know the horse will tell you when it's time to ride. And when the, when Frankenstein or or Dan Danners or whatever you want to call him um, comes in, I was like, please tell me they're not going to do it already. Like the horse is just going to be like, now it's the time. Thanks for the thanks for this food this one time. And Henry was going to jump on, uh, and they sort of trick you. Henry goes to jump on, and he falls off, and that's quite good. Um, so yeah, so let's deal with Frankenstein because I mean. Is it in my head? Have I made up that it was mainly fairy tales this show was meant to deal with? And I didn't, I didn't realise Frankenstein had anything to do with Disney. Like, it's a book and a, Mary Shelley's the author, isn't she? And, like, there's films and stuff and, and a play and... I don't know. Is it a Disney thing? Is, is, and is it a fairy tale? And I suppose... I mean, Frozen's not a fairy tale either. So... And I suppose... What, what, what constitutes... Is it just stories? Can they... Can they do anything? Is Harry Potter going to show up? Like, I don't know. What are the rules? Do they ma Does it matter? I don't know. I've not decided. But I was taken aback, guys. I was taken aback by Frankenstein. Um, and I, thinking about it, I don't know if the, if it being fairy tales is just something in my... I suppose it's, it's never been said. I don't know. But uh, yeah, no, I, that bit, that threw me. And they seem to be chucking a lot as well, like this season. It's like, here's Hook. Here's a beanstalk. Here's, so there's Jack and the beanstalk, and here's, you know, uh, Beauty and the Beast is sort of there because of Rumps and uh, and Emily de Raven. That's not that's not a nickname. That's just uh, that's our, that's the actress's name. Um, so yeah, I was thrown. I'm gonna be honest. It's quite clear, I think, because I'm rambling. But I was thrown by Frankenstein. I liked it though. I liked them introducing Frankenstein. I liked the way they did it. I like the way that they there's an element of ooh is the brother someone. Um, it makes sense. It's logical. I like the reveal. I like that we now know who he was in the fairy tale world. Um, but yeah, like I said, I was a little surprised. I like that we're seeing more Mad Hatter. I'm enjoying that. Um, and I'm loving the Queen story. I'm, I'm loving the the redemption element. But is she still going to go for redemption now that he's gone? And and yeah. I am in, uh, I've just hit my foot, you might have heard that. Um, I'm enjoying that element. Um, and you know what, this week I wasn't like, uh, like we're five episodes in now and I'm still not completely like, oh, just chug, just re, sorry, just, ch <laughs> had something, something in my throat. Um, a bit rambly this one, sorry about that. Um, but better than last week's, so there's no, there's no captions or anything. Um, Although I've, I, I get the feeling because I'm filming this quite early that the that the camera quality is still not going to be brilliant, so sorry about that. I'm going to fix it, guys. Um, but new shirt, though. So, you know, dodgy camera quality, checking out the new shirt, swings and roundabouts, maybe? Um, yeah. I 
got it from Fat Face. I can't think of... I literally, I literally went blank and couldn't think of anything else to say uh, about this week's Once Upon a Time. So my mind went, tell them about the shirt instead. They'll probably, they'll probably appreciate that. As long as, as long as you're talking, Chris. Um, it's not like it's called Once Upon a Week or anything. Uh, it doesn't need to be about Once Upon a Time. Make it about the shirt. Uh, I'm not sure about the shirt. Uh, I'm not sure, um, yeah, I've not, I bought it, I've not worn it in public yet, um, so I'm trying it out on you guys, and you can't, you can't see all of it, and I'm aware of that, but there we go, um, really liking the Evil Queen stuff, um, and I want to see more of Frankenstein, again, every, every element this week I want to see more of, um, I'd quite liked it if David had comforted the Evil Queen, that would have been nice, instead of just letting her get attacked and then letting her cry on her own and stuff. Um, I think we're done with Daniel and I thought that was an interesting choice because they didn't need to bring it but they sort of after she said goodbye to him you were sort of like oh that was a hang up of hers and they've addressed that now um, and they've addressed it two different ways again one way in the in the, in the the fairy tale flashbacks one way in the present and it'll be interesting to see where they both go and I it thought it, when they when they brought him back I was a bit like why? but to bring him back that so that she has a goodbye is interesting um yeah so that's cool but this isn't i mean once upon a time's not yet got rid of anyone major do you know what i mean like although i'd quite like to the the guy i can't remember his name but the guy who became the swan's first love interest um and like was trapped guarding the queen and stuff i'd like to see more of him but you know it's not it's not game of thrones there's no one at least at this stage in that i'm in the show where i'm like oh let's let's hope they're not gone so when they brought someone back, I thought that was interesting. Um, but then I really liked what they did with it. Um, so yeah, there you go. Sorry that it's been quite rambly. Uh, let me know what you think of my shirt. Shout out, because I know my cousin's now up to date. My cousin, my brother, Adam. Um, shout out to him and his, his beautiful girlfriend, Jen, for, for catching up to Once Upon a Week. Really appreciate that. Thank you for just keep tuning in, guys. Um, and yeah, there we go. Uh, I'll see you at the barbecue, Adam. And the rest of you... I will see once upon a week.